Today we're making the best nachos ever. They should be a staple at every party because everyone loves nachos. We're making our meat and bean mixture first. We're putting our skillet to medium heat and adding a little bit of olive oil and our onions. I'm just letting these cook down a little bit, be like six minutes or so, but while they're cooking, I'm gonna line our baking sheet with foil. This is a really important step if you don't wanna be scraping burnt pieces of cheese off your baking sheet forever. Makes for a super easy cleanup. Nice press down. All right, these are looking good. I'm just pushing the onions to the side so when the meat hits the skillet, it has a chance to brown. We are going to add our beef now. Just gonna break it up a little bit with a spoon. Just gonna let it sit undisturbed for a minute or so just to let the meat start to caramelize a little bit. Start mixing the onions and the beef. And we're just gonna cook this until all the pink is gone, which should take about six minutes. When this is done, we're gonna pour off some of the fat and then we'll add our spices and our beans. If you don't wanna use beef, you could also use ground turkey or ground chicken or crumbled tofu if you're a veg. Not seeing much pink. So I think it's time to drain the fat. Get my gloves. Safety people, it's important. some of that fat. Now we can start seasoning. I'm gonna turn the heat back on, just to medium. And we are gonna season with salt. Don't be shy. Taco seasoning. If you can't find taco seasoning at your grocery store, we actually have a great recipe for taco seasoning on our website that you can check out. Click the spoon for our homemade taco seasoning recipe. And garlic. So this really just needs a minute to get those flavors going. Next ingredient, delicious refried beans. One of the best things to come out of the Tex-Mex cuisine, in my opinion. And we're actually gonna add a little bit of water, only like a third of a cup or so, just to help combine the two so they become smooth and easy to spread on our nachos. Let the beef get to know the beans, become friendly. You wanna get some ASMR in here? Now that our meat and beans are good to go, we can build our nachos. I'm gonna take these off the heat. Let's start building. So first we're gonna start with our tortilla chips, obviously, the foundation of any good nacho. And I'm trying to do a really even layer because when you have overlapping chips, then when you go to grab one and you pull out a naked chip and it's just the worst when everyone's like scooping up all the good stuff and you just happen to like pull one out from the bottom that's empty, it's so sad. So I'll start with our delicious meat and bean mixture. Like I said, we're trying to avoid the naked chip issue. So really be thorough about coating all the chips. So we're doing half of the cheese. I'll do the beans. And last but not least, pickled jalapenos. Time for layer two. I have an oven preheating at 425. I'm gonna pop these guys in for like 15 minutes just to get the cheese melty. Good luck in there. Our nachos are ready. So I'm gonna take them out. Oh, they look so good. We'll start with a drizzle of sour cream. In the Delish Kitchen, we like to keep our sour cream in a squeeze bottle. Just makes for a better presentation. So I'm adding tomatoes, chopped tomatoes, um, avocado, everyone loves avocado, scallions. I'm also gonna add some cilantro in addition, and it makes them look even prettier than they already do. A Couple of things you could serve on the side if you'd like, hot sauce, tapatio and some lime slices, just for freshness too, if you want. And we are ready. All right. Mmm. 
Mmm, this is a life. Mmm.